What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to wire two dual voice coil 2 ohm subs to a 2 ohm load and an 8 ohm load. In order to do this, you'll need some speaker wire and a voltmeter. For the sake of this video, we're just going to use regular zip cord, but you'll need to use speaker wire. You'll need to properly size your speaker wire for the size of the subwoofers and the amplifier output you'll be using. The easiest way to identify if you have a dual voice coil subwoofer is on the back side of the basket you'll have two sets of speaker terminals, both a positive and negative for each coil. The benefit of dual voice coil subwoofers is they allow a lot of flexibility in wiring the load to the amplifier. Now that will depend on what impedance each subwoofer is and the type of amplifier you have. Class D amplifiers are typically safe down to 1 to 2 ohms. You'll need to check your amplifier owner's manual for that. And class AB amplifiers are usually limited to 2 to 4 ohms. By having multiple coils, we can wire these subwoofers to a particular load to match the amp. The benefit to a lower impedance at the amplifier is typically the amplifier will output more power. Now the amp must be rated for that power and for that load. A 1 ohm load will typically have twice the power of a 2 ohm load and a 2 ohm load will have twice the power of a 4 ohm load. Now that will depend largely on the amplifier, the output capabilities, the power supply and the type of cabling you use with the amp. The easiest way to do this is to first create a series connection on each woofer. That means take the positive of one side and connect it to the negative of the other side. So we've taken the negative side and connected it to the positive side. Now we'll do the exact same thing for this woofer. Now that we've connected the negative side of one of the coils to the positive side of the other coil, now we have to link the two subwoofers together to get our final load at the amplifier. Our next connection will be the positive side of this coil and the negative side of this coil. We'll do the exact same thing for this woofer. Now that we have our two remaining connections, we'll connect our positives together and our negatives together. Next, we'll verify the load with our voltmeter prior to connecting it to the amplifier to make sure we've done everything correctly. We'll set our voltmeter to resistance, take our negative probe to the black, our positive probe to the red, and our final load is 1.6 to 1.8 ohms. And what we're measuring here is resistance. We're not measuring impedance. Impedance changes once the woofers are installed in an enclosure and playing. But this gives us an idea as to the load that our amplifier will see. To create our 8 ohm load, we'll do something very similar to what we did in the previous one. After the series connection, we're going to have four terminals left. To make this easy, we'll talk about the first two. We'll have a negative connection from one woofer to the positive connection of the other woofer. That will leave us with one positive and one negative, both of which will go straight to the amplifier. To begin our series wiring, we'll take the negative of one side. and connect it to the positive of the other. And we'll do the exact same thing for the other woofer. Now in our demonstration, we're just using regular zip cord just to make it easy to see. Again, you'll need to make sure that in your install, you're using the proper gauge speaker wire to do all of your jumper connections and all your final connections to your amplifier. To make the final connection to the amplifier simpler, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the negative side of one of the coils to positive of the other woofer coil.
And that leaves us with one positive and one negative. Now we'll make our final connection to the amp. You can see what we do is loop out from one to the other and then combine the two together, looping them through one another to the outputs of the amplifier. So what we've done here is connected every coil in series, taking two ohms to four ohms, four ohms to six, six to eight. Before we make our final connection to the amplifier, we'll use our voltmeter to test the load. We'll set our voltmeter to resistance. Take the positive lead to the red probe, the negative lead to the black probe, and our meter is reading 6.9 ohms. This will give us a sense of our load at the amplifier. This is testing resistance, not impedance. Impedance will change when the subwoofers are installed in an enclosure and moving. With two dual two ohm voice coil subwoofers, there is one final load we can present to an amplifier, and that's 0.5 ohms. Now, most amplifiers are not rated for a load that low. What you'll need to do is double check your instruction manual to see whether or not your amplifier is capable of a load that low. Be sure to check out all our other videos on amplifier wiring, subwoofer wiring, how to match subwoofers and amplifiers, and how to present proper loads to your amps. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check out qualitymobilevideo.com for all your car audio and video gear. Join the conversation below, and thanks for watching. I didn't say subscribe if you're new.